I can't believe it. Cloud Retainer is not here. Huh? Did we miss her? She doesn't like to travel, so in the past, it's always been the other Adepti who come to visit her during the festivals. Somehow Paimon doubts that anything could cause serious trouble for her. True. Now that I think about it, Cloud Retainer would be quite capable of taking care of anything on her own. There's no need to worry about her. Since she's not here, I guess the next step is to check all the other Adepti abodes, one by one. Uh-oh. Will it involve a lot more traveling? Hmm... Um... <gasps> Got it! Paimon has a great idea! Please go on, Paimon. Our goal here is to find the Adeptus that helped Dvorak's ancestor, right? We can't hear any music right now, but... If she's really as nice as the story suggests, she'd definitely come to help anyone who was drowning, right? Yes, I think that's fair to say. So, all we have to do is get the Traveler to pretend to fall into the water, and the Adeptus will come to the rescue! You know perfectly well that Paimon can't swim! Paimon would sink like a rock! <sighs> Just trust Paimon! The water's pretty deep over there! Quick, swim to the very center! What is going on? How do you feel right now? And the Conqueror of Demons. Uh, why don't you say something? <sighs> Please don't make Paimon explain it. <clears throat> okay, fine. Paimon will explain. We're looking for an Adeptus who's good at being a lifeguard and playing music. But if the Adepti aren't gonna stay home, then how are we supposed to find It wasn't me. Uh, yeah, so this Adeptus is most likely a woman. And I am not an Adeptus, as you both already know, Traveler and Paimon. <sighs> okay, so this is Paimon's fault. No way Paimon would have suggested this idea if she'd known how awkward this was gonna be. <sighs> Glad you're okay. As far as I know, the one you seek is no Yaksha. And one last thing. Your actions here caused others a great deal of worry. Do not repeat them again in the future. As ever, the Conqueror of Demons comes and goes, just like the wind. Right. I didn't dare to say a word just now. How's your training going, Shenha? Have you made any plans for Lantern Rite? We could spend it together in Liyua Harbor if you'd like. Oh, I had planned to spend the festival with Master this year. <sighs> However... Oh, speaking of Cloud Retainer, when did you see her last? Earlier this morning. She set off for Mount Hulao at dawn. I noticed she was using an Adeptus art of some kind to protect a mechanism that looked like a boiler. Hmm. Maybe it was a gift for Mountain Shaper. I did not inquire. Ah, uh, so we just missed her. Please excuse me for a moment. I think I'll leave the gift in her abode. Sure. Thank you. It sounds like Ganyu and Shenha have gotten a lot closer recently. Yes. During the summer and winter, I continue to train with Master. In the other months of the year, I have been learning to adapt to human life in Liyue Harbor. Ganyu arranged accommodations for me in the city, and also recommended several work positions for me. But when I try to blend in by referring to her as Miss Ganyu or Lady Ganyu, like the others, she says I mustn't address her like that. Hmm. Sometimes I'm supposed to copy other people, sometimes I'm not. It's a little difficult to keep track of everything. 
Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> Noted. So, you came looking for Master today because you wanted to ask her about the Mystery Adeptus. Is that right? Yep. Oh, speaking of that, have you ever heard any music while out training in the mountains? Music? What is that? Uh, it's... Uh, a kind of a happy or relaxing sound. Or, uh... A nerve-wracking sound, or even a terrifying one. Okay, I'm done. I also left her a note so that she knows where to find us. We won't miss her again. Yay! That's really helpful, thanks! We were just talking about this thing called music, and based on Paimon's description, I do believe I hear it every day. Please follow me. Oh, really? 